Hi, this is George Stevenson and Claude Diamond. Hello, Hi, Claude. Kyle, live from my garage on my treadmill here. <laughs> well, this is the way we usually talk. Um, the reason I'm, uh, I'm recording this today is uh, I had a question for you, Claude, and I wanted to get your reaction. You know, if you're a salesperson, with, with, uh, it doesn't really matter how much experience you've got. You could be a, a newbie or you could have, you know, five or ten years of experience. But uh, in your experience, why do salespeople need a system to rely on to help them in their everyday sales career? You need a system because the prospect has a system. And you've got, to help, uh, you've got to find a way to defeat their system. Their system is to get as much information from you as possible, as quickly as possible, make no commitments, and, uh, and not give away too much information, for, but get everything from you so that they can go then beat up your competition. Okay? And the thing is, that's their system to protect themselves. And uh, the minute they perceive you as a salesperson, all these defensive walls go up. So you better have a system of your own where you gain trust, where you gain information, where you get, uh, you get commitment, and you have the ability to fire the prospect and not waste a lot of time. If you're not using a system, your chances of success are, are minuscule. Why do they build cars on an assembly line, George? Oh, because the, you know, they, they know exactly what the process is to be able to build one. They build them faster. And more uh, more inexpen uh, inexpensively and consistently. Right. We need a system where we understand, and I don't believe in scripts either, as you know. I believe that we have to understand the strategy, the psychology of not only ourselves, but of the prospect. And that's what Guts does for us. It gives us a system to be in control and feel good every day about what we do on the way to the bank. Right. So... You're not teaching scripts, but you are teaching more of a, a, a conceptual framework for how to approach a prospect. Isn't yeah, that we, correct? We, exactly. See, to me, scripts say that everybody's the same. People have different personalities, different wants and needs. We have, you know, so we need to adapt a strategy that works for the prospect and works for us at the same time. If we're reading, you, have you ever had someone read you a script, George? What does it sound like? Sounds like a salesman. It sounds boring. <laughs> it sounds like a salesman. And we don't want to be approached. We don't want to approach people as a, a typical salesperson. We want right. to approach them as a problem solver. We want to be the doctor of problem solving and go to people and ask questions with permission. Uh, use a lot of what we call redirection, positive and negative, open and closed uh, sentence uh, questions. And we want enough information and we want to get to the big T. You know what the big T is, George? No. What Trust. is it? Trust. Because if we get trust, when you have somebody you trust, a doctor, a lawyer, another professional, when you have trust, you take that person's word for things, you take their information and advice. When we're selling a product, service, real estate, and we have trust with the, with the buyer or the seller or the other investor, isn't it a lot easier? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So we need yeah. strategies uh, so, and we need a system so we work smarter and go to the bank more often. Right. So... Uh, with the gut system, what what are the you know two or three um, key things that that you uh, talk about in your gut sales training? I talk about putting the salesman first, which is the direct opposite of all sales training. Most people say uh, sales trainers uh, they say that you should the prospect comes first. I believe the salesman comes first. If we're doing business honestly, ethically, trying to give good value, good service, I think we, could, we have the right to know, does this prospect need what we're selling? Do they have the money or the willingness to finance what we're selling? Uh, do they have the character and the maturity to give us a tentative or full commitment? We never, Gosh, Claude, and, you mean you actually ask whether they can afford the, your product? Yeah, do, right up, you, right up you, front. You bring you bring up the concept of money or the cost of it right up front. Yeah, well, Be because but, you got to know. Yeah, because what are most sales trainers or most uh, most courses talk about the money at the end? What do you ever do you ever give a brilliant million dollar presentation to somebody? Burn up gas in your car, treat people to lattes and dinner, and they say, "Gee, George, you're great, and I love your product and everything." But and if I had the money, you'd be the first guy I'd go to. Is that why you're in business to hear things like that? No, not why at all. Why are you in business, Mr. Stevenson? 
to put money in the bank today. Today, baby. And how do we and what do we sell? We sell solutions. We do not ever ask for the order. We make the prospect want to buy from us because they trust us and they see the value we're giving. We never um, we never give presentations because that's an unbelievable waste of time. We instead we ask questions just like your doctor does or your attorney does when you go for an appointment. So we do a lot of things very, very different, like you mentioned the money. We talk about it up front. Mr. Mr. Steve, and it would sound like this, Mr. Stevenson, you mind if I ask you something about money before we go even further? No, no, that's okay. Thank you, sir. If, if my product or service can solve your situation in a reasonable time frame, will you have, are you budgeted or do you have the money set aside for us to move forward today? Or should we talk about finance? Um, no, well, you know, I really need to ask my wife first. Well, I usually, uh, let me ask my wife if it's okay to sell you. Honey, is it okay to sell Mr. Steve? She said yes. So, see, that's how ridiculous it sounds. And what I really say to people is I say, you know, sir, I appreciate that you, you have that kind of relationship with your wife. I talk to my wife, too, before I make major commitments. But do, don't you really just want to say no to me? No, I really want to buy it. Okay. But Could, I, just don't ha I just don't have, you know, the $5,000 that you're asking for today. I guess it's over then, right? Well... It's okay if it's over. Maybe we'll work again some other day. I'm busy. You're busy. This problem isn't so big that you want to take care of it now, do you? Well, it sure would help me in my business. Let me ask you something before I get off the phone, before I leave. If money wasn't an issue, you wouldn't still want to work with me or buy my product or service, would you? Oh, yeah, I would. Definitely. Hmm. Let me ask you this, and it's okay to say no. If I was willing to finance this at a reasonable, uh, with no interest, something down, something per month, something that's comfortable for your budget and your wife, you mentioned her before, right. we, you wouldn't want to move forward today if I was willing to do that, right? Well, if we could get to the right you know, monthly figure, I think I would. You think or you know, sir? Um, I know I would. What? I know I would, yes. What? I'm sorry, it's a hearing thing. Yes, I would like to do that. Okay, see, off the role play. That was a role play. That's one of the ways we teach the gut sales system, just by practicing making live phone calls, real phone calls, nobody does that, or role playing and taping them with people. This right. is just a great way to learn, and then they can listen over and over again to these tapes and recordings and practice and understand the psychology of guts. Guts is really based on a lot of the studies of transactional analysis, the different ego states and emotions of people. And we realize how we feel, and we want to realize how they feel and be empathetic. We right. want to stroke them, make them feel good. We want to nurture them. We want to use a lot of finesse in our words. Yeah. Guts so, is brilliant way to make sales fun and go to the bank so often, George. So before I get off the phone here, Claude, that's not a, that's not a term you use very often, is it? Uh, why do you ask? It's a good question. It's a good question. Thank you for bringing it up. See, that was a redirection and with a little bit of nurturing. Good question. I gave you an attaboy. It's like mommy right. giving you a cookie when you came home from school. They love. See, we use the powers of persuasion and influence. Understanding the psychology is so much more powerful than memorizing a dopey script. Yep. If you can gain the trust, if you can get the information, if you can get the commitment, you make a heck of a lot more money and you yep. have a lot more fun. You know that a lot of sales, we've all been in sales where sometimes it wasn't too much fun, George? Yep. With the gut system, it's always fun. Yeah. It, well, it's that's one of you're in control. That's certainly one of the things that I found. Hey, listen, I know you've got to run and uh, I'll talk to you later, but I appreciate you uh, sharing that with me and, and uh, we'll be talking to you. All Thank right. you. Thanks, Take Claude. Care, talk to you later. Bye-bye.